The final expense telesales industry has changed drastically and so have the leads. I'm Doug Massey and today we're going to talk about updated lead options for final expense telesales. And not only am I going to go over like all the different types of leads that, you know, that are out there, but I'm going to rank them based on the intent level for each lead versus the cost per lead. Because guys, you know, it's not like, you know, all the leads are equal, right? And you could easily end up paying way too much money for a lower intent lead you know, where the prospect really doesn't have that much interest. However, there are certain leads that have a very high intent and yet they tend to be of the cheapest, the lowest cost lead with the highest return on investment. If you'd like my carrier niche sheet, which has a lot of my favorite final expense telesales carriers and their niches, stick around until the end of this video and I'm going to show you exactly how you can get this bad boy for yourself. And yes, now is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We're putting out new insurance sales training content and videos uh, that are basically final expense training every week. Let's talk about the lowest intent leads and work our way up to the highest intent leads for final expense telesales. And look, I'm not even going to count any type of like age leads only because, you know, the last thing that you would ever want to do, trust me, is purchase leads that have been worked by like a bunch of other agents. I don't know about you, but my time is very valuable. And the last thing that I want to do is waste my valuable time chasing around leads that have been either, you know, like worked by multiple agents and or are just like old as dirt. One of the lowest intent leads in the industry is the telemarketed lead. And a telemarketed lead is a lead of a person that was cold called by a marketer and asked if, you know, like it's okay for an insurance agent to give them a call back so that they can give them a quote for final expense life insurance. Now, the intent on that type of lead is minimal, man. I mean, it's, it's pretty low. And the thing is you can get these type of leads through vendors for like 10 to $15. My second lowest intent lead that can be used for like final expense telesales is the telemarketed call transfer lead. Now, similar to the telemarket lead, the prospect is, is cold called and then asked, Hey, you know, is it okay for us to transfer you to a live agent so they can give you a quote right now. Again, you know, since the client was cold called or the prospect was cold called, the intent is, it's pretty low. You know, the expectation is very, very low. These leads go for around $20 and up to as much as $50 each. And yes, I've seen them priced even higher than that. If you can get them for like under 20 bucks and actually get at least, I want to say, and here's the, the key, at least get around 15 to 20 of these transfers per day. If you're a closer, these leads are totally doable. And guys, when I say a closer, in, in my opinion, there are salespeople and then there are sales professionals. Sales professionals, closers are strong with overcoming objections while sales people are not very good with like how to deal with objections. Here's your tip of the day. If you can accept that dealing with and overcoming objections as being like part of the application process, you know, in your mind, if you can see it that way, then you can and will become a true sales professional. At my insurance agency, we teach a system that makes the objections part of the sales process. Therefore it's expected. So when the client says, you know, Hey, uh, that's great. I, I have to think about it. It's totally cool. When they say something like, well, I need to speak with my kid first. All good. Let's talk about direct mail leads. Direct mail leads are going for like 40 to over $50 each. The intent on this lead is only so, so as most direct mailers, either a offer to give away something for free, you know, like a free Walmart gift card, or B, they have verbiage, you know, which leads the prospect to think that this is some type of a free government program. That's not cool, man. Therefore, I can't really recommend using direct mail leads for telesales. I mean, matter of fact, in most parts of the country, 
I wouldn't even consider recommending direct mail leads for face-to-face -face agents anymore either. I mean, they've gotten to the point where they're just too expensive compared to the cost of a, you know, the way they were a few years ago. And the return on investment, it's, it's just not there anymore. Okay, we've got two more leads left to talk about. Television commercial leads and calendar appointment leads. TV leads, of course, are where you know, the prospect sees the final expense television commercial and they call in for a quote. With Facebook calendar appointments, what these are, are these are leads of people that not only fill out a form requesting information about affordable burial insurance, but they actually set an appointment on your calendar to speak with you about that. Then they confirm the appointment by replying to a text message. It, well, at least that's how ours work. The TV leads go for right around, I wanna say 50 to even over $100 each and are of the highest intent. However, they're also way, way, way too expensive for the typical independent agents. Not only that, but they're really hard to get and you gotta be licensed in like, in most cases, in like 40 plus states just to get enough of them for it to actually make sense. To me, they can work for certain special people, but they just don't seem to work well for most agents. Again, they're expensive, and you probably can't even get them anyways unless you work for like, I don't know, a company like Senior Life. I know they have their TV lead program, or like, you know, you're getting paid by the hour by a company like Colonial Pen. And that leaves us with my very, very, very favorite lead. This lead, like the TV commercial lead, has a high intent and yet should only cost you around $15 each if you're buying it from a lead vendor. Facebook ad calendar appointments are my favorite for various reasons. First, if you know what you're doing or you're on like a platform like the one that, that we have for our contracted agents, you can have over I want to say over 30 calendar appointments set for you every single day. Now, buying the appointment won't work because the lead vendors don't guarantee them and they just aren't, you know, something that's designed to be sold and bought. You're either generating them yourself, which in, in most cases you're going to need to spend like five to $10,000 just to buy the system for doing this or you work with an insurance agency that can run the ads for you, you know, like what we do, and will actually personalize the landing pages with your photo and, and your personal information, you know, and that's the way we do it for our agents. As long as you're not afraid of spending around $1,000 or so, you can have around 25 of these preset calendar appointments every single day. Most agents with a basic skill set to overcome objections will close around one out of three of these presentations, you know, one out of three full presentations that they make. A talented closer can get an even higher closing rate and can literally make over $200,000 per year using this type of lead system, you know, as a full-time final expense agent. For a copy of the carrier niche sheet that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on selling final expense through our telesales platform, just shoot me an email at that same address, guys. Remember, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there or get on that phone, smile and dial, and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.